everybody. Hi so welcome to How to Feed Alone. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The red sweater loon. <laughs> the loon. Ho, ho, ho. Obviously, it's the holidays. Yay. <laughs> happy, happy Christmas. I wouldn't be wearing my big red sweater if it were. Well, I'm not so sure about <laughs> that. But anyway, so it's, we are going to make one of our Christmas time favorite desserts. Yes. Because my, as a kid, it was just always yeah, my all-time favorite. It's still one of my all-time favorites. I, and it's one of our all-time favorites. I think it is our all-time favorite. My grandma used to make this, and it was just, I look forward to it every year. <laughs> it is... It's not just ours, it's my grandma's, it's everyone. No, but it's my color, the color the of my color sweater. Of sweater. It is a red velvet cake. <laughs> now, if you're not from the United States and you're watching this from another corner of the world, you might be thinking, what in the world's a red velvet cake? Well, <laughs> it's delicious. It's red, it's velvet, it's kind of unusual. And but it's, it's got it's a little so, chocolate taste to it. A little mm -hmm. bit of chocolate in there. It's an unusual, it's like no other uh, cake that I've ever had, but it, which is probably why it's one right. of our all-time favorites. And then the frosting is cream cheese. Yes, well, it's a cream cheese frosting. My grandma did this silky, sugary <laughs> frosting that is so great. And But we're going to show you the cream cheese frosting because that's what people are most used to. Yes, so, all yes. right, let's get to He's got this fancy contraption yeah. of how... So you gonna want to get started yeah, on that? Yeah, let me get on started on this because this might take a while. Oh, God. Okay. Well, grab yourself some hot <laughs> so, cocoa. So what I'm going to do is I'm making a baking strip, and that this will actually go around these pie, or pie, these cake tins, and what it will do is it will seal in some moisture around it so that the sides don't get overdone and it doesn't dome. So it's easy. So for when you're making a layered cake, that's incredibly helpful because then you don't have to do any cutting. And we were we were not so certain of this technique, and then we yeah. we have tried it, and it were it does really work. So yeah. basically, to, so he, what I'm going to do real quick. And these, quick. just so you know, these are two nine inch, and we like to go with the straight edge pans. Yes. Um, because some of them have the little beveled edges, and it just makes it harder to stack and get a really pretty side. Yes. So if you can get, and I've got a link to these um, in the in the blog post. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of people. A lot of people use, they call them, uh, they use like ribbons, uh, wet ribbons you can do. And they're actually made for this. But this is for people that don't have that. This is the, Which is the DIY people. version. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what have you done there? You got so some, I, I, you've got I've two got, strips of aluminum foil. Yeah, that, that this will go around, obviously long enough to fit around the pie tin. Uh -huh. I say pie tin, yeah, the well. cake tin. And then I've got a, uh, a paper towel that I just drenched and I soaked, uh, or that I, I drenched and then I, Got rid of the excess water. Sorry. Okay. Trying to talk. So while I'm doing this, he's going to tell you what's so going to go on So basically, what you're doing is you're creating like a thermal, an insulator that's going to yes. go around these. Exactly. And it keeps it moist and it keeps it controls the temperature because what happens is the cake tends to cook more thoroughly on the outside, which pushes the inside upwards, right. and it gets a little drier on the inside and really moist on the inside. Right. This helps to uh, keep that from happening. Moisture all over the place. It, it cooks and it evenly. This is the hardest part is getting this to go. Oh, I know. It's like. <laughs> You're doing your laundry. Anyway, okay. So let me tell you what we've got here. Uh, we're gonna. We've got uh, the high flow. We've got the makings of the cake. So what I've done here is I have got. Uh, this is this is my cake. The dry cake batter. I don't know if you can see this, but anyway, what I did was I. First of all, we need to set, sift the flour. So I love using cake flour. Um, if you live in the United States, cake flour is you can find it in practically every supermarket right in the. Uh, with the uh, other types of flour, all-purpose flour. What it is is just a much finer uh, flour. It ha has less protein, which means it's going to produce less gluten, which means it's just going to make a softer, more delicious cake, the kind of cake that we always want. If you don't have um, access to cake flour, then I have in the blog post how you can use uh, cake or just regular flour with about two tablespoons less and you're going to put in some cornstarch but we'll talk about that <laughs> in the blog post right okay so then what we need to do is we we're going to sift all of our dry material so what I've got is two and a quarter cups of, of cake flour and um, to that I added some cocoa powder it's the chocolate that we talked about two teaspoons and then a teaspoon of baking powder a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt and then I just got my handy dandy uh, sifter and um, I sifted it and again that just makes it aerates it it makes it nice and fluffy and it's going to produce a more fluffy cake wow, perfect been talking perfect a lot. right but now let me just tell you tell everybody real quick so okay. I, I got this stretched out my my wet uh, paper towel stretched out across my tin foil yeah. and now I'm just going to fold it over once okay and then I'm going to fold it over again 
and then I'm going to have my strip. And this is going to wrap around the outside of the pan. Yes. Like this. So you have two because you have two pans. Yes. Okay. There. That's now, all I had to do. Brilliant. Now, do you want to show how that kind of comes you, together? Yep. And then you hook you don't them need, together. You just, you just kind of, because the, the foil adheres to itself. So, yep. so you, you just, just want to make like sure that. it goes like that. And, and let the base, there's going to be a little uh, overhang on the base. Yep. You just fold that under. Just make sure you got the sides. It doesn't have cover. to be super accurate. It just kind of, it just works. Yes. Okay. While he's, that's great. Yeah. So while you're working on the second on one, the let second. me tell you what we've got, what we've already done here. You're going <laughs> to need to cream your some butter and some sugar. Cream and all it. that means is you're going to cream it. Um, you're just taking a half a cup of unsalted butter. We're going to add our own salt so we don't need salt. And uh, that's a stick of butter. And to that, we're going to add a cup and a half of granulated sugar. And then in here, what we do is we just turn it on medium, let it start to get incorporated so it doesn't go puffy. And then you kind of crank it up high and let it go for a couple minutes. Somewhere along the way, you may need to stop the mixer, scrape down the sides with a spatula, and then let it go for about two minutes. And, and you'll, you, you know, it's not... When they say cream the, the butter with the sugar, it doesn't really necessarily turn to cream, um, but it does turn kind of like a light, fluffy, pale yellow type color. It changes color just slightly. Um, okay, so that now we have done so much to get you prepared for this cake. Hopefully, you're we haven't lost you. <laughs> oh, and let me tell you one other thing. You may be saying, well, why are there three bowls of this flour here? When we start to add the flour along with buttermilk, which makes it so yes. delicious. Uh, we want to do that in stages. So I just to make it easy, we do we start with the butter. I mean, we start with the flour, add a half a cup of this, then that, then this, and this, and just dividing it into thirds makes it easier than dumping a big old bowl in there. You don't have to do that, but it yeah. you'll see it helps. It, helps. Ma it makes it a little easier. And okay. easy cleanup. Yeah. So okay. So now <laughs> we've got one large egg here. I never know the best angle to do this from, and we're going to add that. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more. There you go. And then, you know, as always, you kind of do this in stages. Let things get incorporated before you move on to the next. So now we've got one more egg that we're going to get in there. How are you coming over there? I'm coming. This is the worst. This is the most difficult part of making the cake. Well, it is, and it's not a hundred percent necessary. And we, we no, it's be, not. But it's, we wouldn't be recommending it. But it, it is works. surprising the difference that, that it really does make. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, what we are going to do is we are, like I said, we are going to start incorporating the, the dry flour mixture. So I've got about a third of it right here. This makes it so much easier. I love this little technique, okay? And then just keep doing, you know, you want to keep your spatula handy in case you need to do a little um, scooting down to the sides, but that seems to be going well. I've got one cup of good old buttermilk. Ugh, this is just, this is, I guess would be considered sort of a, southern United States classic dish, um, although my grandma, Irma Summers, love her so much. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweetest grandma. She would um, make this every year, and she lived in, in, with my grandpa in Missouri. And um, so I'm not sure where she got the recipe, but it was classic, and it was my favorite, and I looked forward to it every year. And then my mom, love her to pieces, she would make it for me because I would beg her to make it for me. <laughs> yes. I begged her too. I know. <laughs> this is so, wait, and just wait till we, till we add the red uh, food coloring. That is gorgeous. Okay, how's it coming over there? It's almost right. done. Now I'm going to add the rest of this buttermilk. You're watching us make a cake. Had I known you were coming out of bake the cake, <laughs> so I'm going to bake a cake. Okay, one more go. The final amount of flour. You're actually... We're showing you how to make a bake, make a cake right before our very eyes. Okay, so now that's getting very beautifully incorporated. I love it so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Okay, now this is now we're talking fun. So we've got we're gonna add two ounces of red Here comes food the red. color. Now, am I doing this at a good angle, Wesley, or should I do well, it? Well, no, they'll see it. Okay. They'll see it. I just want you. This they'll is, see as, it turn red, what, knowing that you're turning it, pulling it. Pulling I, it in I there. mean, this was always to me as a kid was kind of exciting and a little gruesome at the same time. <laughs> um, but it's so. And look at that beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna really deepen the color. So this is a total of two ounces of just good good old red food Wonderful. color that you get from your store. Wonderful. Okay. So now, and then to this, we need to add, I've got a teaspoon of white distilled vinegar. I'm not even exactly sure why we add vinegar, but we, you do. <laughs> and then we're going to really deepen the flavor with a teaspoon, secret. Yes, um, <laughs> a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that, look at that, folks. I mean, is that not... Yeah, scoop down the sides. Make sure that I'm it gets going all to. Okay, good. we got a little flour. Okay, so now, uh, let, me, yeah, let me just do that real quick. 
Oh. Wow, I can't wait. Nothing to me screams the holidays than a blazing red yes. velvet cake. Sweater. And <laughs> well, nothing. Yeah, that spells something. <laughs> I love it. Though. Oh, come on. You're going to drip. Oh, Chris. What? You're dripping everywhere. Well, it's the holidays. <laughs> you know, don't, you shouldn't do this if, you know, it has raw egg in it. <laughs> right. A little bit. It'd okay. Like. Okay. So now, I hope you guys are just bearing with us. They are. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take this. I have so much and We're going to put this. it into these lovely dishes. Here. Yeah, I'm Let just me get this around here. My fingers are clean, I promise. This is so much fun to do with the kids. I mean, they get so excited when they see this red batter, just like we do. Okay. All right. I okay. wouldn't recommend wearing a white shirt and doing this. <laughs> red. <laughs> That's why we're wearing red. I love it. Okay, and I'm going to start putting these in here now. And there we go. Okay, so now I think I mentioned that we, I don't know if I did mention this. You want to make sure you butter your uh, cake pans before you do this. Just get some grease, some shortening, or some, I just get some softened butter and really, in a paper towel, smear all around the inside of both pans. And then get just some good old all-purpose flour or cake flour, whatever you got, and put it in there and just kind of pat, pat it around so it sticks to the sides. What this will help do is it'll just help it pre from prevent, this batter from prevent. Preventing it from sticking to the <laughs> cake pan. I'm so. That's all right. I'm, I'm so trying excited. to get this even. I know. I, I know. So, so okay. A... So that's so. So what he's doing. So, oops. Shoot. Okay. I, that was me. You'd be. I'd be I on know. Your, I'm not, just screaming the high heaven. On his naughty list. Okay. So <laughs> what we we preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This bakes pretty quickly. Only anywhere from. 20 to 30 minutes, usually closer to 30 minutes. I do my handy dandy toothpick, um, just insert it in there, the toothpick test. If it comes out dry, it's ready. If it comes out wet, it's not ready yet. Okay, so Let's I think see. we're good. We're going to, just gonna continue to, to smooth these out. Obviously yes. as it bakes, it'll rise and the Here, smell why don't you go, go, is get so one and do, your, do one for, on this one and get, get a uh, spatula and do that side. And do okay, this one. well, we're, we're good. We're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> what? We're going to put these in the oven once these are ready to go, okay? Yeah, okay. And then when we come back, they're going to be baked. <laughs> okay, folks, <laughs> it is ready for and cake ready time. Come okay. out. So it we, smells amazing. We smoothed it out. We, together as a team, put these into the oven. Yes. And, uh, and these have gone for exactly about oh, 27 wow. minutes. So, like I said, I, d I just See now that? did my little toothpick uh test. I've, I did it a couple of times and right at, I'd say 26 to 27 minutes. Oh, they were ready. nice. These look at that. Look great. And see the, the, yeah. the baking strip around the side because of the moisture, it kept it from doming. It did not dome. Have you often made, you know, when you make cakes and then you stack them and you know, they're, they, you, there have those ways that you can cut the tops off and we've done that and you, and it's all great, but this is such a, you don't have to do that. It just has yeah. a nice, way. and then when we're going to let these sit here and cool for about 10 minutes in the pan, um, before we invert them and, and then uh, we're gonna let them sit for a little while longer uh, until we can get the frosting on them speaking of frosting because <laughs> you don't want to put <laughs> frosting on warm yeah um, because it'll, it'll, it'll get all melty okay so let's do let's make this frosting so I'm gonna tell you Wesley and I you may not have know the notice this but we like things a little sweet <laughs> and um, so we like a little extra frosting actually I think this is it's the holidays this is one of those times you know let's pile on yeah. the icing so the recipe I'm doing is my recipe for buttercream or cream cheese frosting and a half so I give you just a smaller version. If you don't like it quite as, then the, just take my regular recipe and just go with it as is. But right. I'm showing you both. So anyway, do it. So I've got a stick and a half of butter in here. Oh, let me, before I do that, I've got, so a stick and a half, that is 12 ounces of, make sure it's room temperature. Did I say that before? Of your before? butter. Of your butter, yeah. So a lot of this, you have to kind of think about it in advance um, to make sure it's room temperature, set it, set it out on the counter. Um, and then this Ooh. is, um, Some cream cheese. This is cream cheese, and this and is going to be a another soft, isn't it? twelve. That's going to be another twelve ounces. I'm licking my fingers. Um, that's okay. Yes, and it's, it's at room temperature us. as well. I know. I'm, I'm at room temperature as well, and that's not plugged in. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, all right. Okay. I had to clean my uh, 
From the red velvet. From the red velvet. So obviously, I make sure you clean this well because you don't want, you don't want red icing. Yes. Um, you want this to almost look like it's snow that's yeah, on top of the, I love of the cake. It. I love so, it, love it. I love this frosting so much. I know, I know. So I now, love your grandma's frosting too. Oh, uh, I've got that recipe in there and you got to try it. I yeah. feel a little guilty not doing hers, but um, you insisted on the cream cheese. Uh, okay. So now no, this, it is. You haven't you figured that out by now? So now <laughs> this is powdered sugar. And this is, we're doing, for this again, I'm, I normally would do three cups, but I'm doing one and a half versions of this recipe. So I'm putting in a whopping four and a half cups. Of, I'm so proud that you have not dumped it all over the place oh, yet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I live for making you proud. It's, see, it's kind of like it's, it's snowing, snowing in, in here. It's a blizzard. Uh, <laughs> jingle bell, jingle, frosty the snowman. Okay. I can, if I do this, I can taste that. I know. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. <laughs> no, don't. No. Okay. So now look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to add, this is a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract because that makes everything taste better. And then we're going to put in a little salt, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to let this go. I mean, it's, it's good now, but if you let this go for about two minutes, it just really becomes really, really creamy and luscious. And I mean, even to crank up the speed a little bit. Okay, Fabulous. so we're gonna do that. And- uh, So once that's done, yeah. and once these are cooled, oh, look at that, already. You wanna take a little taste? A little, pr what, I know. What are you I know, asking me for? I know, I can't believe you already have it. <laughs> a little pre- I'm gonna save my judgment for later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so like I said, we're gonna let these cool for a little bit longer, and then we're gonna let, then we're gonna invert them. That's always fun. And, and then, then we're gonna frost them. And, and then when we come back, them. I'm gonna eat them. Yeah, but we're gonna let them cool completely, and right. then we're gonna frost, frost them. them. Okay. And then I'm gonna eat them. And then we're gonna eat them. <laughs> we're gonna eat them. <laughs> yes. oh, Merry Christmas! We got red velvet cake. Isn't that beautiful? And don't you like our little cake platter? Yes, <laughs> I it's love it. It's very pretty. It's so festive. It's so festive. <laughs> I love Christmas. I love the holidays. Oh, look at that! Okay, I love so it. let's let's tell just get everyone up to speed how we got to this beautiful place. Yeah. So, well, obviously we took them out of the oven, and you made that frosting. But then we also let them cool for a little bit, and then we flip them over onto. Um, a, what is that called? A baking rack. A baking rack. They were already sitting on a baking rack and we inverted them. <laughs> we inverted them so. And the, then we removed the foil. Yep, and we let those get cool for a little while. And well, then. Well, no, wait a minute. We, we, we inverted them and then we removed the, the, your oh, foil. Oh, sure, yep. yep. And then that. we took the, the base of a, the back of a knife and just tapped it a few times because, you, you know, it helps. Just in, yes. You may have a little stickage, you may not, but it, usually not. But if you do, no big deal. And then we just, we lift it right off and yes. there it is. and then voila. And voila. then and then how we frosted it is that we we took the the bottom obviously the bottom off the the pie after like, it cooled the, the cake rack you want to let it <laughs> sorry you want to let it cool enough just enough so it you know it's going to be cool enough to frost it because it only took us probably we set it outside actually because it was kind of cold day today right and um, anyway I just you know you just fly right through this like you're Santa in the sky. Okay, anyway. With your, I, your sweater oh so bright. So we let that cool, then we took the bottom, bottom layer and we put it on our little pie rat, or, or our cake, why am I saying cake or pie? On our cake stand, and then we put the frosting on the, on the bottom, and then we put on the other layer, put that on top, and then we frosted that as well. And then we did the outside. Am I missing anything? <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've covered it. Okay. So anyway. Lord. So, so that. Baking um, with the loon and Longwell in the it's house. A, it's an adventure. It's <laughs> fine. So anyway. And I made this, you know, I'm not like the most professional of, of frosters, but I think that looks you really did great. cute. So what you, you know, you just kind of, you know, on here, you can just do a little swoop with a spatula yeah. and then, and then just I just followed it around the sides. Just don't to press. Make it, yeah. Don't press too hard. Cause you'll see that, you know, right. the space in between. And you don't want to get the, you know, the red crumbs go going. So if you get any red crumbs on your, on your spatula, take them off right away. So red crumb, red crumb. <laughs> um, yeah. And you know, obviously you could, oh my gosh. So obviously you could also pipe some more of the icing in here. But yeah. Or you can actually make a little extra cake. And you can crumble do it the up crumbles. Yes, that's throw really it pretty. On top of it. I mean, I've seen people do We're also just good old fashioned red velvet cakers. I know. <laughs> here's, okay. here's this. People, I can't wait for to see the inside of it. Put that out. Ooh, here you go. <laughs> yes. Look. Oh my gosh. At that. 
Wait, first of all, look at how cute that is. I love Let me that. get a little, I, there's just a little piece here. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to, I know, I know, I know. I can't help it. I'm, anyway, that's adorable over there. And then you have this, which is also very adorable. And it's waiting for me to eat it. Santa says, ho, 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 that looks good. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just said, wow. I it's get so, very, I'm like very... taken back to my going up to Missouri and Grandma Summer's making this. And I, it was my favorite part of Christmas. Look at almost. How, look at how moist that is. That's incredible. Isn't that great? That is, this cake is just the most. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason it's called velvet. It's so good. It is so good, people. It's the most wonderful time of the year <sighs> that to frosting, eat this cake. That frosting. I know. This is such a, it's such an, a moist cake, and that frosting is just not incredibly sweet. It's got the cream cheese deliciousness. Um. I know. <laughs> I know. Don't eat all of it, or I'm just going to eat this. I literally just went, <laughs> Yes. Wow, that is so delicious. It turned me into Santa. Wow, put that, put that out for Santa and he'll leave you a yeah. lot. Yeah. Amazing. Now that is, I would say a thousand percent Luna approved. Yes. Christmas cake Luna. early. Yay. <laughs> oh. It is so delicious. Oh, you God. need to have a piece of that or I'm going to eat it all I, up. Well, it's the story of my life. Wow. It's I'm just, just so, going to do this whole, I, I'm going uh, to yeah. have, yeah, it's fluffy and the sides and this, it, it, <gasps> Oh. Grandma in heaven, oh. thank you. Mm. I hope you're seeing this because the best, the best, the best. <laughs> Santa, save some for the elves. <laughs> Hey, Papa. Oh, now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. We've not had any spiked eggnog either. No. I promise you. We just are so excited about that this That is cake. so good. And be sure to I'm go. I'm on a sugar high because uh, I've been dip, dipping into that frosting. Oh, he's been dipping into the frosting <laughs> since the day he was born. Now, anyway, um, go to our social media, like us, mm. share us, do all that. Make red velvet cake. And above all, have a beautiful, happy holiday, holiday whatever, you, whatever celebrate. you celebrate. Merry Christmas to all. Yes. Love one another. We love you. And, and I'm um, going to eat the rest of this cake. And, and just eat and be happy. Yes. Eat and be happy. This is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, wait, you're not the cake. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>